We demonstrate the Mini Worlds browsing technique for finding plausible rigid body animations that also satisfy user constraints. Our system consists of two major components. First, we help the user sort through the hundreds of animations computed in parallel on a cluster using a simple interface. Second, the user can use refinement to help guide the system towards a particular desired solution. In this example, we have pre-computed a database containing 1,500 possible motions. Constraints help limit the set of possibilities. A positive constraint, in green, tells the system to only allow motion paths that pass through the selected region. A negative constraint, in red, allows only motion paths that do not pass through the selected region. Users can apply the constraints to particular objects, such as this rock, or to collections of objects, such as the bricks in this tower. Metrics help the user sort through the remaining motions. Here we show an example of minimizing angular energy and an example of maximizing angular energy. In this example, the goal is to have the letter spell SIGRA. It is immediately clear that sampling alone will not produce the desired result. The user can guide the system towards a solution by selecting an individual letter, such as the letter I, and telling the system to generate new motion for that letter. We call this process refinement. The user quickly develops strategies, such as working on the outside letters first, or refining them two at a time. To get the orientation correct, the user combines a constraint ensuring that the letter lands in the correct bin with a metric measuring how close the letter is to upright. Here is the final result. Here, the goal is for the character to fall all the way down the spiral staircase. With refinement, we can chain together improbable events, such as the character catching his leg. The user can quickly reject motions that he finds uninteresting. Here is the final result. Our refinement technique permits adding, removing, and modifying scene objects at any point during the development of the scene, and fixes up the physics whenever necessary. This is a mock-up of a popular children's toy. We start with just the two objects shown here. Sampling quickly shows that it will be extremely unlikely to get the ball into the cup, so the user simply moves the cup to the left. It is marked red to indicate that it has changed from the original scene, which serves as a visual indicator to the user that the physics may be affected. Now that he has found a satisfactory motion for the first cup, the user duplicates it. He can visually place it in the path of the ball. Once he is satisfied with the placement, he notifies the system and it begins refining the current path, taking into account the new geometry. Sampling identifies a path wherein the ball rotates left, which seems interesting to the user. He can place a third and fourth cup and some shoots using the same method. After some ensuing experimentation, here is the final result.